Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. You know I talk about playing by ear quite a bit. When I was small, I tried to play by ear to everything. Every song I could think of, I tried to play the chords to it. And at first, I would just play the one chord and the four chord and the five chord. And then I'd run across some song that would have a different chord and I'd have to learn that. And you know, you build kind of little by little until you have all these building blocks that make it easier for you to be able to play by ear. Christmas time is a time that I would always have to do that growing up because people want to sing at Christmas time. So I remember in particular, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas threw me for a loop because of a couple of elements that happen in it. And these are the elements I want to talk about today. It's when there's a temporary modulation in the song, either to the minor three chord or the minor six chord. You can call it the mediant or the submediant. Now, when we modulate to the submediant or the minor six chord, you can't even really think of it as a modulation because it's the relative minor. But for today, we're just gonna, we'll call it a temporary modulation anyway. So have yourself a Merry Little Christmas does this. You go all the way along until you get to Troubles Will Be Miles Away. And here's where the first one happens. Do you hear how that sounds? And all of a sudden, we're in a whole different realm with new possibilities. That was a modulation to the submediant or the minor six chord. So from C major to A minor, here's what it looks like. Now also in Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, toward the end, there's the phrase faithful friends that were near to us. And this is where we modulate to the mediant, to the minor three chord that I'm talking about. So both examples occur in this song. Really threw me for a loop when I was younger. It took me a while to get, to get a hold of it. Here's, so here's how that happens. Um, here it comes. That's how it sounds. So there are a few tricks that I use to help me when I need to modulate to these places. And I'd like to show them to you today and help you to hear the difference so that you can predict it. And when you are on the spot having to play for people, you might guess correctly. That's the goal here. So in Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, we're in the key of C. And the first modulation that we do is to the A minor chord or the minor six. That happens on Troubles Will Be Miles Away. Here it comes. When we modulate to a minor place like A minor, a really good way to do it, the most common way to do it, is to use a 2-5-1, a minor 2-5-1. So when we use the minor 2-5-1, I mean the second scale degree of this minor chord, which is B. So we take the B and we build a half diminished chord, which is a minor seven chord with a flat fifth. All right, so we've got B half diminished and then E7, okay? And that leads us to A minor. So there's our two, here's our five, and here's our one. So what I do is if I'm in the key of C and I hear that there's some kind of a modulation coming up and I think that it might be to A minor, all I do is I think, okay, I'm gonna drop a half step and play a half diminished chord. So here's the C, right? All I have to think is I drop the half step and play a two, five, one. And we see if it works. Now the other one, remember, is on uh, Faithful Friends. Remember that part? So this is to the minor three chord. If I think that we might be going to the minor three chord, the trick that I use is I take the key that we're in, I hop myself just in my little old brain, up a tritone. So to the F sharp, and then I build my minor two, five, one. Okay, so a half diminished chord, F sharp, minor seven flat five, and then B seven, and E minor, right? Because 
here's E minor, here's the two, here's the five, here's the one. The two chord is always going to be half diminished or minor seven flat five. There's, those names are synonymous with each other. The five chord, for our purposes today, we just, we're just gonna say that it's a five chord. One, three, five, seven, and it brings us to E minor. Now, how do you know which one's which? Well, let's use a different song to talk about that. Let's talk about other songs that modulate to the submediant. Let's take Yesterday by the Beatles. It does it right off the bat. It happens right here. So the thing you do, if you're gonna guess at what those chords are, you've got two guesses if you're sticking with what I've been teaching. You better be. Um, you either move down the half step and play the half diminished chord here and then here and then here and that would move us to D minor or we're in the key of F so you hop up a tritone and play your half diminished chord there, 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 there. That would move us to A minor. But what we're going to do is look at the notes in the melody. Here's one of the chords that needs to happen and here's the next chord and it's got a C sharp in it. Now, and it ends on a D. It kind of sounds to me like it should be A7 going to D minor, doesn't it? So, so let's try that one. We want to go to D minor. In the key of F, that is the submediant or the six chord, the minor six chord. When we're transposing to the minor six chord, we think half step down. Let's try it. Here's left hand, root position. There's the minor seven flat chord. And here. That's it, isn't it? Another song that does this is Georgia. In F as well. And it does it right off the bat. Here it is, down a half step. It's a great device too because it immediately takes you from happy to sad. Do you feel that? That sounds pretty happy, but it's about to go south, my friends. <laughs> right? All of a sudden it's sad. And the same thing happens with Georgia. Everything sounds great, but uh-oh. Oh, and now we're so sad. That's a great way to go from happy to sad really fast. And both songs do it right up front, don't they? Um, how about the song, I Thought About You? I took a trip on a train and I thought about you. Here's where it happens here. I passed a shadowy lane and I thought about you. It happens right there. So we go from C major to A minor. Just another little instance where it happens. There are so many songs where it happens. How about in my romance? Here it is. All of a sudden, we're from major to minor. That one actually takes you there by route of only the five chord. We skip doing the half step down to the B minor, B minor seven flat five, and we just, we just go straight from a C chord to an E seven which happens sometimes. Um, or my romance does it again at the end. Wide awake, I can make my most fan. Right here. So down a half step from C. Fantastic dreams come true. But my romance also modulates to the mediant. Let's listen to that part. It goes, no month of May, no no twinkling stars. It happens right here. This is the place, and it's the different one. So we're not going to go to A minor. We're going to go to E minor. And so what we do is we go up a tritone. See? And it takes us into a new realm. All of a sudden, we're out of C major. And it's so beautiful. I love it. Let's hear how it would sound if we took that same melody, but tried to modulate to the A minor instead. So instead of going... We're going to go, um, no month of May, no twinkling stars, here it comes.
Now that doesn't sound terrible, like I've heard worse things before, but it's it's not the best, right? Um, and, and you'll kind of know, if you need to take a guess about this, you'll know because of the melody. This ends on the seventh degree of an A minor chord, which isn't super strong, but it is super strong in E minor. Here it is, right? It's the third of E minor. So sometimes if you have a second, like at the beginning of the song, this is what you do. If someone requests my romance and you think, oh, I, I can sing that, I, I know how it goes, but I know that it's got a couple of those tricky modulations. I wonder which one comes first, I wonder which one comes second. Just really quickly, you just sing through it, you get to that point, you play the melody, and you make an educated guess based on what the melody is and where the strong tone ends up. No hide away. It's very strong in E minor, but it wouldn't be so strong if we did it in A minor like we just tried a second ago, right? One more example is on There Will Never Be Another You. It happens right off the bat. Now let's guess which one it's gonna be. It's gonna happen right here. So we have to decide, the next melody note's an F, we have to decide, are we going to drop to the half diminished chord, which would be a D minor seven flat five, or are we gonna hop up the tritone to an A minor seven flat five? And we think, how's the note F on that chord? Well, it's not great, but it was great over the D minor seven flat five. So that's my guess. I'm guessing that it's gonna, it's gonna do the minor six modulation. Just based on this melody note alone. Yeah. And that sounds great, doesn't it? Little guesses based on the melody. And these two choices, really. So many songs have these two choices in them. I could, I could really go on and on with song after song that have either a modulation to the minor three or to the minor six. Minor six is definitely more common, but both happen a lot. Uh, Moon River is another one. Right here it happens. The melody note's a G, uh, and I think if I drop down the half step, play the half diminished chord, that's probably gonna be it. Right? It also does the other one. Two drifters off to see the world. There's such a lot of world to see. It does it again here. We're after the, and here's another one. Same, there's the note. So I think I'm in the key of F. Can I drop down the half step and play an E half diminished chord? Not with an F in the melody, can I? That, that won't sound good. So what if I hop up the tritone? I play the, this two chord, it's a B minor seven flat five. Yes, it's a very strong tone in it. So we're after the same rainbows end. And it sounds wonderful. There we go, there's another example. I tell you what, all day long we could come up with them. So there you've got it. You could now modulate to the minor three or the minor six at the drop of a hat, my friends. Thanks for watching Amy Nolte Music. I'll see you next time.